Hey yo, what is up guys? Your dog is back with yet my another WrestleMania Sunday review and let's get into it here. So as you guys all know, star ratings are in the description below if you want to know what I starred the matches because you know, Meltzer man over here, he's got it, got it covered for you. <laughs> I don't know, everyone always has their own opinions and stuff, but these are just my opinions. So if you don't agree with me, you're probably wrong. <laughs> just kidding. All right. So kicking off the show, Brock Lesnar versus Omos. Uh, this match, it was it's kind of like the modern day uh, Hogan versus Andre type type deal we have here. So Omos, he dominated him early, threw him around the ring a bit until Brock managed to hit some pretty gnarly looking suplexes on him, which kind of scared me because it's like, that dude's really big landing right on your head. That must suck. Anyways, Brock gets him up, hits the F5. One, two, three, Brock wins. This is actually really good for what it was. It was just really entertaining to watch Brock lift up Omos and Omos throw around Brock. So yeah, it was a good Haas match here. I like these kind of matches. I know some people don't, but whatever. I they, I don't know. I just like it. I like the allure of it. I'm a child. You know how it is. So moving on to the women's Fatal 4-Way. And this match kind of sucked. It's not like the worst thing in the world. It was just like... It had just no heat to it, I guess you would say. So, Sonya and Chelsea, I wrote that down. Like, they actually had a pretty good performance here. Natalia's double sharpshooter was kind of the spot of the match. And as expected, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler win. Uh, it was just kind of there. I didn't really, like, care too much about it. I just kind of, like, bleh. I don't really have too much to say about it. So, moving on to a match I absolutely love. And I think a lot of people think this match stole the show. This was a great Intercontinental Championship match. Gunther versus Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. My dog, my favorite wrestler who might not be re-signing. Please re-sign, Drew. Please re-sign. You're my boy. I don't need another one of my favorite wrestlers like Dean Ambrose leaving the company. <laughs> what will I do then? Uh, so yeah, this match, it had some heavy chops in it. Like, damn. I, I was feeling that. Like, just the hits in this. Like, this is just... Everyone knew this was going to be a physical match going in. But we just didn't know to what extent. And... Yeah, happy to know I wasn't in this one. But yeah, so there was the moments where uh, Gunther, I think he got slammed on the outside is what I want to say. And then it was just kind of Sheamus and Drew going back and forth. And they had a solid back and forth, man. That was really good. And then obviously we got the Sheamus and Gunther one-on-one. -on -one. So yeah, you had like all like the little little nuances out throughout the match of them all like going at each other and I liked when Sheamus and Drew were doing the chops and and uh what is it what does he call it again the 10 the 10 beats of the Baldrin to to Gunther on the outside and then I think the ending was like Drew and Sheamus they kind of like did again they like claymored and bro kicked each other and then Gunther powerbombed Sheamus right onto Drew and got the pin and yeah, this match was hella physical. I love this match. I loved all their matches, like uh, the match on SmackDown with Sheamus and Gunther and the uh, match at Class of the Castle was just amazing and outstanding and I loved it. So yeah, these matches, they were great. So shout out to all three guys. They're like just on such a hot streak right now. And yeah, I could watch them do another match at Backlash. Actually, I'd be for that, them doing a triple threat at Backlash. Why not? Like do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, great match here, guys. Um, moving on. Asuka versus Bianca Belair. And yeah, the entrances for this match were really cool. Asuka had a really cool entrance with everyone wearing the face masks. And then Bianca had these little girls who were all really good dancers. Kind of strange for me to watch that. I don't know. I just feel weird. Like, I don't know. All these little kids up there dancing around. I don't know. Felt like kind of weird. Uh, so yeah. This this match, it was a really fast start. Bianca was going at Asuka. She was going heavy, heavy at Asuka. And then they uh, freaking kicked the shit out of each other. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. They like Yeah, they just started like, Asuka was just whooping her for a bit there. She was just like hitting the, the kicks. And yeah, so this was a really good match here. Like everything was really good. Asuka missed the mist and then she went for what is it and then she went for the arm bar but Bianca got out and then eventually Bianca she hit her with the KOD and she got the one two three and yeah I really was not a big fan of 
Bianca getting the win, I really felt like Asuka needed the win more. And we needed to kind of set up some different things for the future. Because Bianca, I, I mean, I have always agreed with the push of Bianca. I like Bianca. It's just that I'm a huge Asuka fan too. So, like, I love Asuka. So, but as a lot of people call uh, Bianca Belair is J Jane Cena, she had a really good... She had a really good, uh, she's been on an awesome run. I just don't, I think they, they're they just going to carry on with it. So, yeah, I mean, I was more for Oscar winning and it kind of deflated me when it's like, oh, Bianca won again. But Bianca's had a great streak at WrestleMania with the match with Sasha to last year with Becky to this match here. So Bianca's kind of like the Roman Reigns of the women's division. She's the new Charlotte Flair. I'd love to see that match, actually, Charlotte versus Bianca. That'd be a really cool setup. So, yeah. Moving on from that, I just wish Oscar would have won. That's really all I have to say about that. So Shane blew out his knee. I mean, I don't mean to like make fun of anyone for getting hurt, but I can't help. I, I'm not going to lie. I laughed. I laughed kind of hard at that. I was like, <laughs> because it's like, dude, you're so freaking old. Just go sit down. Go sit down somewhere. Uh, Yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. Just go sit down, Shane. We don't need you in the ring anymore. You're too old. And it's obvious because you just blew out your knee. All right, next up, we had Edge versus Finn Balor. Awesome entrances here. Edge had Slayer playing, and then he had that sick metal mask. And then he had his actual entrance, like music playing. So that was really sick. Uh, Finn Balor and the demon entrance with the purple and then like the little mist stuff he had going just looked absolutely outstanding. And then, well, the match started, and this was violent. They went right at each other, and they were hitting each other with kendo sticks, freaking chairs, the chairs. I like the coloring of all the chairs and the kendo sticks. I think that was really cool and a really nice touch to everything. Uh, yeah, they had, like, the ladder come into play, which just busted open Finn Balor. Balor, he, I think he got, was it him? Who got, I think it was Edge who got slammed through the table on the outside of the ring there. Yeah, they went out to the outside. They were slamming each other into the cage. And yeah, I really am a fan of bringing back the old style Hell in a Cell look. That to me is absolutely amazing. And I'm really, really happy with that. One thing I didn't like though was the spot where Finn Balor climbed the cage to the platform. It's like the whole platform was there just so Finn Balor could have a coup de grace off of it. That I didn't really like because it's just like, I hate the whole setup thing. But I will say... Uh, Edge, he he ends up spearing Balor. You know, he, hit a, he hit an education off the top of the ladder, which was crazy, and Balor kicked out. And then finally, Edge, he hits him with the concerto, gets the victory. And another thing, like the Bianca Oscar match, did Edge really need this win? I think Balor really needed this win for the Judgment Day, and I think that would just help propel the Judgment Day forward as the new stars on Raw. And I think they really... Ed, Balor really needed that win, and Edge really didn't. So, yeah, even though I love Edge, but Balor really needed this. But overall, I like this match more than the Seth Rollins Hell in a Cell because the Seth Rollins Hell in a Cell had some kind of stupid moments in it. Uh, so, yeah, I like this match a lot better. I just wish Finn would have went over, and I love the Demon. I think the Demon's great, and I just wish it would have got actually treated properly here. So that's just my overall feelings towards it. So yeah, um, main event time. It took like 40 minutes from the last match to this. Uh, Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. So Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes comes out, has this awesome pyro entrance and like eagle wings on the back of his jacket. And then yeah, Roman, he has his entrance, really amazing. The crowd was absolutely hot for this. People were super, super into Cody here. And of course, everyone's always into Cody. So, like, he's such a great wrestler. So, obviously. And, yeah, so the match kind of... It had a, it, this match was a long match. So, it had a really, really slow build. Like, they kind of wrestled a bit on the inside. They went to the outside. Solo Sokolo started getting involved. He hit... Co Cody was kind of, like, taking over the match. Solo hit him in the ribs with a chair. And then, I think he, he hit Cody at one... Oh, yeah, he tripped him on the ropes. And then, finally, he ends up getting ejected after he hits him with the weight belt. And... Yeah, the at one point, Cody, he hits a pedigree, uh, almost hits and gets the near fall win. And yeah, eventually the Usos come out, hit the 1D on Cody, Sammy and KO, they come out, fight off the Usos. And then, yeah, because so then they're just kind of in the ring, they're going back and forth, and you're kind of like in this 
who's who's gonna win this there's a really cool guillotine spot where Roman has, has Cody in the guillotine for a while and Cody's got to fight out of it so that was really awesome watch Cody fight out of the guillotine Cody he eventually he he gets the upper hand like and he starts hitting multiple crossroads and then Solo Sokoa comes out he hits Cody with the Simone spike Cody go, goes down Roman hits him with the spear after the crossroads one, two, three, Roman retains. People were in shock. I was kind of in shock. I thought Cody was going to win. Um, but no, they kept the belt on Roman. And yeah, I'll talk more about that in a later video about who's going to beat Roman. Is it still Cody? Is it just like we're taking a little bit longer to get there and it's just going to be at SummerSlam or later down the run? Personally, right now, I think he might hold it all the way till WrestleMania 40. I could very well see that just... Roman going on this dom even more dominant of a run, but yeah, so they uh they have a great match here. I personally prefer the Drew McIntyre Roman Reigns match, but this this here was a great match too. So like whichever or there are just amazing amazing matches. So yeah, they put on a clanger here. I feel like the last three matches were kind of deflating to watch because it's like I really wanted Oscar to win, no Oscar winning. I and I, and Edge winning was kind of like. We need people to get some big wins now because you can't just have like I don't know. That's kind of my overall feeling. Like you, you this WrestleMania had the chance to kind of send people forward and send the company ahead in a in a stronger direction. The same way WrestleMania Thirty in a vacuum did do, where it kind of set up storylines for the future. And I felt like this could have done that with having Cody win, with having Oscar win, with having Balor win, where it would have set people up in the future for bigger and better things but they just chose not to do that i don't know what's next for edge i don't know what's next for bianca uh yeah we'll talk more about that in the future here overall i'd say this was a really good wrestlemania but it just a lot of the ending of the matches people aren't going to really be too big of fans of that which i find most people thought were kind of deflating but the first half of the show with the mcintyre match and the and the opening match I thought were really good, but then just, yeah, the endings to the matches. Yeah. Oh, well, it was still fun and really entertaining and just great wrestling overall. But yeah, I really think they missed the boat on sending the business forward. So those are just my opinions. I thought overall WrestleMania was really amazing and it made a ton of money this weekend. So good on them. Uh, let me know what your guys' thoughts were on, on uh, WrestleMania. So uh, yeah. Like the video, comment, subscribe. Peace out, guys.